with an episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, and today, well, we've got a bit of an interesting project here today. Uh, we're taking a break from adding in new animals. Yes, I know the dodo still needs to happen. It will happen. Don't worry, people. Um, I just haven't gotten around to adding it in yet. Um, but today, we are going to start decorating the, uh, the exhibits and the pathways and all that kind of stuff. Um... Last episode I had talked about this, and I think I had said doing the Quagga, Elasmatherium, and Smilodon today, but I think I've instead changed the plan up a tiny bit from that. And instead, I think my goal is going to be, instead of just going through and decorating three exhibits today, instead I will just kind of start over here with the Quagga. Like, basically start where we had started originally, so uh, with these guys and this area over here and the quaggas and the area around here and just kind of work on decorating all this up um, And kind of finishing what we had started a few Months ago now actually um, But yeah, that, that's that's kind of the plan. Um, so there are some trees in around here. Maybe um, actually no actually no trees around here I just realized uh, and That's actually due to the fact there are some plans in the work at least in my head of some redesigns for the bug house so if i'm planning on working some more on the bug house i don't really want to put anything around it for the time being just so that we have a bit more space to work with should i need it um but anyway uh so if we go like over here we'll throw some trees in and around here um i should throw a staff pathway in as well so that way there's an actual walkway over to the entrance to the of Belladon exhibits we need to do that we need to get the trees in we need to get plants in uh all the way around here we need to remove the chests and the crafting table and then we need to work on the quagga exhibit and then probably here so i'm thinking my goal for this episode will probably be to try and decorate everything up to like this point in the pathway up until the T point, the T intersection, I'm gonna try and get that all decorated up for today. Um, probably showing you guys little increments as I kind of slowly make my way through this. So I'll take a chunk, work on it, finish it up, show you guys, get started on the next chunk, work on it, finish it, show you guys, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's the plan for today. So I'm gonna get started on that and I will bring you guys back when I've uh, made some progress. And we're back, guys, and look at these adorable platybelodons. I, I, honestly, these guys are just absolutely amazing, aren't they? We, we've had them for a really long time now, haven't we? Yeah, no, they, they've been in the park for quite a while, I guess. Anyway, welcome back, and I have done some work, as you can see over here. Uh, I started putting in some of the trees, and the flowers, and the bushes, and whatnot. Uh, not really on this side. I, throw in a few flowers but on this side lots of trees and over here some trees and that's that's about it I've laid down the work from where some more trees will go um yeah I made a discovery while working on this very saddening discovery and that is um if I really want this to work the way I'm kind of thinking it will with custom trees and stuff that means at least this section of the dark forest has to go. I have to take down all the normal trees then. Oh, which is um, uh, an incredibly painful task if you can't figure it out by the tone of my voice. Um, yeah, no, I, I kind of didn't think about that when I started this. Uh, and now a part of me is wishing I kind of thinking I shouldn't go all out on custom trees for this entire area just because well but then again yes I, I feel like I kind of should because on one hand though yes it's gonna take an insane amount of time like this took way longer than I thought it was going to in fact I'm gonna make a lot less progress this episode than I was thinking I was going to um but it looks really cool I mean don't get like I, don't get me wrong there I think it looks fantastic and very interesting and different kind of like the exhibit does uh, the platybelodon exhibit just has a very unique look to it as does the gastornis exhibit and I both really like him um, it's just trying to transfer all these trees to replace most of these trees is kind of difficult so I think 
kind of what I'm thinking is, is I might remove some of the dark oak trees and instead replace it with spruce trees and a few custom trees. Because as you can kind of see here, the farther back I ended up getting, the more just spruce trees I started to put in. Because I realized it was far enough away, you didn't actually really see the, the regular spruce trees too much. But they kind of filled in the, like, the skyline a bit. So, you know, it, it looked a bit more dense and whatnot. Um, without me making more slow, painful to make spruce trees. <laughs> custom ones, at least. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of at the moment about what I'm going to do with this. It's, I don't know, it, again, it's it's a bit more work than I kind of realized I was getting myself into, which seems to be a common theme with dinos recently, uh, me getting a bit overambitious. Um, I, I do think, I am going to put a few trees in the quagga exhibit, but the more I'm looking at the quagga exhibit, the, the more I'm thinking it doesn't really make sense to put tons of trees in here because they're, they're horses, which are grazing animals so they they really shouldn't have too much full uh too many trees in here um i'm kind of still trying to figure out what, what how i'm going to decorate their exhibit and i think that's what i'm going to work on next so probably put a like a pond or something in uh bone meal it up wow we have a lot of don't we have like 12 let me check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then do we have one over here i thought we had 12 like managed to escape somehow there is it okay let me maybe i just counted wrong all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven no we only have eleven maybe i did only make eleven quaggas that is quite possible let me just actually kind of go up here and see if one of them got out and i just didn't notice because that tends to happen. These animals, no, I only put 11 in. Okay, that's fine in all honesty. We have a lot of horses uh, that I need to <laughs> spruce this exhibit up for. So I'll probably try and put some hay in here, uh, maybe a bit of a stable somewhere to kind of let them rest and stuff like that. Also, I really like this. It's actually kind of making me think I need to switch up the path style again to be like stone and a site and cobble maybe. We've, we've done that pathway before and it takes a long time to build it, but I think it also looks really nice. Uh, but it would also kind of drastically change the, the tone of the pathway and how it kind of fits, which might change how the rest of the park looks with it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm not going to start that anytime soon, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, um... Actually, maybe it'd be cool to do different path styles depending on which area of the park you're in. So, like, these wooden ones for, uh, for the, or spruce wood for the Ice Age stuff, maybe oak wood for some of the other exhibits, then, I don't know, maybe the Cretaceous is, like, stone and another one is, uh, concrete or something. Like, that could be interesting. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but that, that's an interesting thought. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get to work on the uh, quaggas. I don't know how many more treats I'm gonna build. I, I know I have like places set for them, but man, I think the bigger thing is I just need to not make it so dense. I mean, I think there's too many here. Like if I just trim, trim it out a bit, it won't be a forest really, but it'll be easier to deal with when it comes to building in. Dang, what is, that's kind of spooky. That's a waterfall right there. That actually is. That'll be really cool. Um, but anyway, I'm going to take a quick cut here, go work on the quagga exhibit, and yeah, I'll bring you guys back in when I have made some progress. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back, everybody. And I have gotten everything done for, well, this episode. And it's nighttime, so that means we have to go back to sleep. Um, well, I guess not 100% done. I do still have some plants. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Uh... I, need to, I want to throw my footsteps down. Uh, I keep switching to different versions of Minecraft recently because I've been messing around with 1.16, you know, because it's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I, I keep forgetting it completely messes with my uh, sound settings for the game. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to throw in some prehistoric plants into the exhibit uh, kind of because I just want to. But for the most part, I think we're about done with the quag exhibit. I didn't end up putting in the stables or shelter that I kind of said I was gonna do, uh, cause I couldn't really think of a place to put it. Um, that doesn't mean it won't happen eventually. It just means I don't 
have a spot for it right now. Um, but anyway, if we quickly run over there, um, I will show you guys what it is we have. I think I think the Quag exhibit looks decent. It's not quite like this level of greatness or that level of greatness, but it's not bad. It's it's kind of what I wanted in all honesty for the Quaggas, um, which is a bit more of an open field. And here we are. I'm sorry if you can hear a lawnmower outside. I think someone's mowing their lawn. Um, but here's our Quagga exhibit. And also I have to say, I think these are lavender or something. Lavenders or lilacs, I don't remember exactly which. You know what, we can just break one real quick and then we'll find out. Lilac, yep, okay. West Indian lilac. Um, but I love lilacs just because you can bone meal them to get more. So it's really easy to get a ton of these, which is good because I really like how they look. But this is our quagga exhibit. We have, um, I made some small groupings of trees for this one. So we got like one grouping here, a few trees here, some back here, and then a larger grouping you can't really see. But I put a few, a few more trees here because that kind of leads into the other exhibit uh, where more of the trees are. Uh, so I figured, you know, we should kind of have a bit more foliage this direction. Oh, I forgot there's a gate here. Um, but anyway, yeah. This is the exhibit. So I put a water feature in because they needed somewhere to drink from. I've got three little piles of hay. I have the future versions mod on actually, and that gives me uncarved pumpkins I can use. Uh, you just actually put a pumpkin in a, the, your crafting inventory and it'll turn it into an uncarved one, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of nice. So I've got some nice pumpkins uh, and a couple of these in, in, I don't think there's one in every bush, but there's in a, in a lot of the bushes there are. And yeah, I think this just, it's, oh, I could maybe put a stable there. Maybe that's where I'll put one. Um, not right now, uh, yeah, I don't really have time. Uh, I kind of ran out of a lot of time with this episode, but mostly because the trees took way longer than I ever expected they would have. Not these ones really, but like uh, this area, I think I put way too many trees in and it just took forever. Uh, and I just didn't really have the time to, sp I spent way too much time doing this. I really should just, Made a bunch of, uh, make a few custom trees right at the front and then switched to basic Minecraft trees in the back to kind of round it off a bit more. Um, but yeah, I think overall the quag exhibit turned out kind of nice. Um, my goodness, that mower is loud. Um, so I'm really sorry if it's, it's super loud in the background. Um, hopefully the music will kind of drown it out. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, I, I'm quite happy with it. I haven't seen it from the bridge, which I kind of want to redo. Speaking of which, we actually need to finish the paths. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe we can work a bit on that. Oh yeah, from up here it looks pretty good too. But it, it, this kind of does fit more what I was thinking with how the quag exit realistically is going to look. In that it, uh, well, it, it's gonna be a more open exhibit. I'm not gonna put tons and tons of foliage in just because it's meant to be a field. It's, you know, horses don't really live in forests now, do they? They live out in the, uh, the fields and the prairies and whatnot because, well, they eat grass. So that makes sense because that's where the grass is. Uh, we'll put a couple of horse tails and stuff around to kind of just give a bit more diversity to the plant life here. Okay. And I'll throw around some other uh, prehistoric plants and stuff. Just kind of give a bit more interest in terms of the, the plants we have going on. Um, and we'll throw in some Dilhoffia and Saracenia to kind of give them some. I should really do what I did with like the lilacs. Uh, these should be grouped up in bunches of like five to seven. So it's like, that was an absolutely terrifying noise. Oh my gosh. Oops, no, not right next to each other, but like, like that, okay. And then actually we can put like some Saracenia, like maybe back here or something like that. Just kinda in the background, add a bit more color. And I kinda want the Saracenia to be more blended in with the trees for some reason. So kind of more in these back areas here. I think that'll be kind of nice. It'll give a bit more color back here as well. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll just throw the rest of them here. That'll be a Saracenia patch. Okay, that, that looks actually pretty decent, I think. Yeah, they're kind of hidden, but I think that's kind of nice. They, they're not meant to be this big standouty flower. But yeah, I, I think this quag exhibit's pretty good. 
And I think this is setting the precedent for what some of these more planes-like exhibits are going to be. This is probably not too dissimilar from how our uh, Elasmatherium exhibit will end up looking. Probably also the other two terror birds, the other three terror birds, probably. Um, I'm not really sure how the Smilodon exhibit's going to go. Um, because that could have a lot of trees or it could not have a lot of trees. It probably will lack trees. In fact, I've very much realized the only true forest exhibits we're going to have are the Platybelodon and the uh, Gastornis, aren't they? They're the only true foresty ones I'm going to do, aren't they? Probably. Because this is not going to be a forest. In fact, people have asked a lot for me to make this very much Australia themed. Um, and like switch out a lot of the stone for terracotta and stuff. And now that we actually... We have a mason now. Yeah, we do have a mason now. Yeah, that's that's somewhat feasible. It could happen. I don't know if I'm going to make that happen, but it's possible. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, man, I have a lot of work still to do. It kind of blows my mind with how long we've already spent on this area. Just how much more there is left to do. Like we have we have so much work left to get done. But you know what? We made pretty good headway today. We got we got a decent error. Well. <laughs> You know what, actually, I was about to say, no, we really didn't. But no, we did. We, we got an entire exhibit finished for the most part. Um, and I built just a ridiculous amount of custom trees. Granted, I think I'll need to build less the farther into this we go, because this is the foresty section. It's like, this is the dense forests. And then, like, the quag exhibit is you starting to leave the forest and enter more of the fields and prairies and stuff like that, where the rest of the animals are living after you go through the dense forests at the edge of the icy mountains where we keep our mammoths and stuff like that. I actually kind of feel like it'd be cool to like set up some reason for why there's all these trees here and stuff like that and why it isn't, you know, like super flat and stuff like that. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, I think that's about all I have. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and leave any suggestions you have uh, for what we should do in the next few episodes, like decorations and stuff we should do in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. And until next time, guys, see ya.